and I was supposed to wake up today and do a beautiful creative IRL art video, but I woke up too late and I'm tired and I don't feel good. I need inspiration. So today we're gonna look at some of the most amazing creative art that I could find and we're gonna, you know, get inspired. This is a mess, but this is a kind of mess that I want to make. I want to do this. I want to have an art room where I can just go crazy and pretend that I'm talented when really I'm just <laughs> just splashes everywhere, tidal waves of paint. But apparently here you really have to trust this process because I don't really believe in the story that's being told here. I don't really, uh, you're making a mess, girl. It's all over your dress. Your dress looks really, really cool though. Oh, 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 wait. Did you just throw a bunch of paint at a background to make us click on it so you could be like, listen girl, the background, I covered it all up. I mean, I used some of it, but like, this is what I was trying to do and I'm better than you. Is that what she's trying to do here? Because it worked. Gotcha. Here we have some electric art. I really don't understand how this works. Oh, does that stay forever? Here's the thing with me, okay? I used to say that I'm a visual learner. I need to see visually how something is done in order to replicate it, but I've realized that even worse than a visual learner, I am a fundamentals learner. Like I need to know how everything works at the base fundamental level in order to fully understand the bigger picture. A lot of people aren't like that. A lot of people can like skip steps and actually be visual learners. Me though, like it would take 10 years to explain to me how this works, but it is beautiful. I tried painting with LED lights. Oh, oh, so she's not gonna know what color she's actually using. This looks black. Oh my, what is it gonna look like? I mean, if you can tell in this lighting, like just have the gist of what it's gonna be, then I feel like it's gonna look really whimsical and cool. Oh my goodness, that is the coolest thing ever. What is this, peel it? Peel what? Stop it. What do you mean? What do you, uh, ooh, oh, 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 okay. When guys are like, oh my God, like her without makeup, like I swear, look, she paints her face on. <laughs> this girl actually painted her face on? Oh! Honestly, though, I was wondering at the beginning shot how she was so poreless, but she's ripping this off and she's still like really flawless and really poreless underneath here. Is the eyebrow gonna come off? I need to know. Ha! Girl, that's really, really good. And you look stunning without that literal mask on as well. Like both ways, I'll take both, thank you. Uh, of course I'm in the Christmas spirit. And of course we have to do something Christmassy. Would you look at that? It's Christmas bikini bottom. Huh, it's so beautiful, it's so beautiful. And I feel like this would be really easy to paint. It would just be really time consuming. Like I wanna do something like this. I wanna make some art. And I love how it's like the little window, like the little submarine window. Oh, what a cute way of like looking out and seeing this little Christmassy neighborhood. A beautiful idea. I love it. This is just willy silly nilly. This is making your pet's fur into art, which I could really use to do because my dog sheds so much. It's a little bit overwhelming at times and it'd be cool to do something with it. These actually look like cats. The cool thing about cats is how otherworldly their eyeballs are. And like you would think that if you like bought a little marble eyeball thing that looked like this, that it wouldn't look like an actual cat's eye. But like if you put this like behind the couch, like looking like it was peeking over at me, I would think that that's a real cat. <gasps> Oh, that is so precious. Are you giving him little eyebrows? No, they're just the little eye lines. Okay, this is just stunning. But that was kneading felt. I 100% thought that was for, I was wrong. I'm sorry. This is doing people's profile pics. There, we got the nobody, we got the, uh, well, the nobody and the everybody. We're gonna have this little guy. Oh my goodness, how cute. Oh, that's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. Simone makes art. You did that with pencil crown. That is really, really good. The one thing that I've always really, really struggled with is pencil crayons. Actually, no markers. I can't do a thing with markers that looks super seamless. Like you can always tell where I've been, unless it's like a gel marker. Blend it. Oh dear. She's gonna blend her contour here. Let's do the eye first. Okay, there's no going back now. I feel like this is gonna look really good because it's such a nice gradient. And like the darkest parts are where a girl would put contour. Like this is where we would put like highlight. The parts that I blended out look airbrushed. They do. Okay, now it's time for the forehead. Do you think this is gonna stain my skin? I guess we're Probably. gonna find out soon enough. 
I did use black for the contour. I'm not sure how that's gonna look. It's actually starting to get difficult. <gasps> I like it, I like it, I like it. I like how she's not mixing the sponges between the light and the dark colors because that's the thing that could ruin this. Like you would have to blend this so carefully. Ah, I don't know how to feel about this. I, I don't know how I feel. I think I'm just confused pray that this doesn't stay my skin. It will. <laughs> I love it though. I think it looks really good. I thought that it was gonna look a little bit better, but that's only because I thought like when you were first blending it, it was so seamless and then it got a little muddy at parts, but I assume she didn't want to like waste way too many sponges. Oh, she says update. It stained my skin. That sucks. This girl is about to paint books. I'm a little bit lost here, but I'm excited for this process. <gasps> Oh, she painted that on the paper. Wow, that is so sick. That must be like a very like delicate kind of like watercolor or something, but it looks so defined because when she opens the page, it like nothing gets ruined. Okay, which one is it drying? I think it is A. Just cause this looks a little bit more 3D. Oh. oh! They had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. How was I supposed to know? Like, watching this back, I can definitely tell, but you can't do that to me. Just going around making us feel stupid, huh? That's what you like to do? Okay, here we have something you've never seen before. Something that you, you will be shocked and be like, wait, who is this character? Who is this person? Everybody on the internet hasn't talked about this so much that I have no idea what this is. Sarcasm. But I just love the clean black lines. It's so satisfying. Player 067, ah, so cute. I'm not over her, you know? Like I still follow her on Instagram. I still look at all her stuff and go, yay, queen, yay, we love you. Like she had a lasting impression. So I'm here for this, even though Squid Game kind of old news right now. Oh, the ASMR. Oh, these TikToks are just out of control good. Oh, you missed a spot. You missed a spot. It's bothering me. I can't stand this. Please fill it in, please. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh, but the whole time I was anxious because you missed that spot. That's not how you do oddly satisfying. This is just art at a level that I assume that I will never be at. It's very cool to look at. It's like almost photorealistic in a way. It's absolutely stunning. And it's so, it's funny how oftentimes the most mundane things are the most impressive if you can get them right. You did that. Things you did, that. And you did it well. He's fast. One of the fastest painters in the world. This actually would take me so, so long. And this is making me want to paint a room now because he's just making it seem like it's a piece of cake. Imagine if you could paint this fast and you were a painter and you like charged so much money and pretended that you were hard at work all day when you can like just like knock out an entire wall in two seconds. Go. Stop. Oh, this is like red light, Go. green light, but making a character. Stop. Go. Well, this is gonna Stop. be interesting. Go. Stop. Please get this one. And Dang lastly. it. Go. Stop. Get this one. Dang it. I kind of look like a spy. <gasps> that was so cute. That was so cute. I love textured paintings. They are just so... Uh... Wait, this is what I wanna do. This is what I wanna do. I want something like this. Look how expensive this looks and how easy it would be to do. What an amazing idea. They look like little Hershey's Kisses. This is brilliant. I'm sorry, I need to like screenshot this and like put it somewhere because I wanna do that. I wanna do that bad. Handmade pottery. How is anyone this precise with anything? I just don't know. What happens if you mess up? Do you have to start again? What do you think? Ooh, oh, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what you're doing, why you're doing it, but I like it. We've trusted the process before. We're about to trust the process again. We're really gonna have to trust the process with this one. Okay, I thought she was gonna swing that head the entire time, but she's getting to business now. She's uh, lighting it on fire. Uh, Sure, like this looks like a, like a basquiat. Like this is crazy. This is crazy good. It's scary though and I wouldn't want it in my house, but if I was like a little bit more edgy, like if I was just like a little bit more cool, popular, like more people liked me, I would totally hang this up. A classic art with a time warp filter. It never gets old. 
I've tried this many a times. I actually have tried to make a video doing this, but it was a huge fail. It's a lot harder than it looks. Who needs Bob Ross when you have the time warp filter and a lighter and a sleeve? Ah, oh, it's a Christmas tree. A Christmas tree at a level. A level that we shall never be. Unbelievably simple, unbelievably good. The only issue with something like this is it kind of looks like something, like it's it's too good. It looks like something you would get at Ikea, like, like an Ikea print. It's just too immaculate. It's too good. Some things in life are too, too good. Oh, she said available in my shop. Well, I'm, I think it's worth getting anyway. And then you can just say it's a real painting. It's not a print. This is one of the coolest things ever. This is virtual reality painting. I love this idea because you can pick any color you want, any brush that you want. You can like stick your face really, really close and see your painting at such a high resolution level. And it doesn't like a lot of like paint and tools and mess and paint brushes and waste doesn't go into it. You just, oh, it's so good. But digital art is just different than regular painting. Like sometimes I want things to mix. I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to mix. I really like this idea. Okay, you're putting Kirby over a painting. That, this is, this has been wonderful to watch. I applaud this. What are you doing? Oh, huh? What? What did I just see? What kind of dark magic is this? Huh? I do not know what I just watched, but I liked it. Okay, this is spot the drawing. It's obviously this one, but I have a feeling it's gonna be something else. Like it's gonna, it's gonna be this. It's gonna be this. Stop it. Okay, I give up. My art and what I was feeling at the time during a car accident featuring dissociation. This is feeling stuck in the family home. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's cool. Felt like all I was doing was failing. And it's such a cool art piece. Really missed a person in a city. Oh my, imagine being this talented. Okay, this lonely one, I really, really like that. Had strange dreams. Oh, pff, there's just like a little horse in a meadow behind you. I love summer. What an excellent depiction of summer. Like the lamp that was brought outside and like, like the arched doorway. There's something about all these like inside outside mix. Very surreal. Had really bad eczema. Oh my goodness, girl. I know how that feels. Wishing the best for my inner child. Okay, well you are extremely talented and I hope that you are in a better place eventually. But this art that you're making in a bad place, it bangs. But with that much talent, you're gonna make good art regardless. What? Oh. This is an emoji portrait of the guys that are always on your For You page. I don't know how this is gonna come together because this is only emojis being allowed to be used here. Oh my. Oh, it's these guys. I actually see those guys all the time. Well guys, that is all I have for you today. Please check out the amazingly talented creators who are featured in this video. And if you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.